Hey boys and girls. Okay, I will start the lesson by telling you the materials that you need to have. You will need your 4.4 um, lesson. You will need your pencil. You will need your crayons. And hopefully you have crayons. Um, if you don't, you can use a marker or a pen if necessary. Um, the two colors that we always use in class are red and yellow. So if you can use red and yellow crayon or marker or colored pencil, that would be the, um, the best thing for you to use. Um, if you cannot find those two colors, then you need to choose two colors that are different. Um, maybe you want to use uh, red and green. Maybe you want to use orange and yellow but two colors that will be different for you to be able to see on your 10 frame. Um, <clears throat> you will want to pause the video while that you get all of your materials and have them ready and then come back to me. Okay, so now you are back and um, we are going to, um, the first thing that we will do is we're going to get our red and yellow crayon. Now, I want you to understand that I'm going to show you how to subtract using a 10 frame, and we're going to do things a lot different than we have done before. So it's going to be very important, even if you um, have been very good at the 10 frame, very good at subtracting, I do need you to listen in because I, there'll be a few things that will change in this lesson. And so that way you will make sure that you get everything correct. Um, okay, so I'm going to start and I'm going to read the problem to you. But, and so put all of your things down and let's listen to the problem so we know what we're going to do first. Austin put nine red counters in the first 10 frame. Then he put one yellow counter in the 10 frame. How many more yellow counters does Austin need to make 15? All right, the first thing that we need to do is to get our red crayon. And I'm just going to say red because that's what we would do if we were in class. All right, so we're going to get our red. Let's see if I can make mine. There it is. It may be a pink red. There we go. Maybe that'll be good. And we're going to do nine. Now, when we do this, remember like we did in class, you're going to draw these circles right here, but you are not going to color in the square. You are not going to, you don't have to color in the circle even. You can just draw nine red circles just like this. We want to be able to recognize the circles, okay? All right, so the problem said that he put nine red. Now, do you remember what I said? How many yellow did he put? And I hope you said one. So I'm going to change my color to be one yellow. Okay. Now, how many is in our 10 frame? I hope you said 10 because we know that we look at that. There are 10. Now, we want to know how many more of yellow <clears throat> do we need to add to the next 10 frame so that we have 15, okay? So get your crayon, your yellow crayon. We know we have 10, so let's start adding on. Ready? 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Super job. Now we have how many counters all together? 15, I hope that's what you said. And how many more yellow counters did we have to add to have 15? Five, and that's what I hope that you said. Now, um, <clears throat> we are going to continue using these same color crayons, and now we're going to put it with some subtraction problems. So you flip up and over, and I will do the same. Okay, now that we are back together, now um, this is the example, but I want us to look at this example very careful before we start um, 
using our the doing the bottom one so that we do it together now when um we subtract using a 10 frame it looks a little bit different than when we are adding with a 10 frame okay um the top says 13 minus 9 all right now i want you to look right with me on this okay follow along very careful now um this time in adding the numbers to our 10 frame we're going to start with the smaller number in the subtraction and that is not what we've learned about subtraction we always start with the bigger number and go backwards but today that's why i wanted you to listen carefully because when we are using a 10 frame to subtract, we start with a smaller number. We're going to start with nine. Now, so they have drawn nine red dots, okay? Now, we know that we had to, we need to add one yellow dot so that it um, makes the 10 frame complete just like we did on the very front of the page and then we want to ask ourselves because it is 13 minus 9 now you've built your 10 frame how many more yellow dots do we need to draw to get to our bigger number which is 13 and you see that we count up three because we had 10 11 12 13 so we have three more yellow dots plus the one dot that we added here to make our, to fill our 10 frame up. So 13 minus nine is one, two, three, four. So 13 minus nine is four. And that's what you would write there, okay? All right, now then, and you'll write a four. Okay, all right, let's walk through one more together so that we understand uh, why and how that we're doing what we're doing. Now we have 17 minus eight. So my question to you is what is our smaller number? And I hope you said eight. So you see that we have started with eight red dots. Now we need to fill up our 10 frame. So we will start and we will add two yellow dots to fill our 10 frame up, okay? So we have our eight red, which is the 17 minus eight. We have used two to fill up our 10 frame. Now our question is, how many more yellow do we need to add so that um, we have our bigger number 17? All right, so we count, we have 10, we want to get to 17. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So they have added seven yellow dots here and we've added two up here. So seven, eight, nine. So we actually had to add nine more yellow dots before we have 17. So 17 minus eight is nine. Now I know that this is different. I know that this looks different from what we've done, but if you just stay with me, this is, Yet, for parents that are listening, this is just another way for students to learn how to subtract um, a two-digit number and a, a single-digit number, but um, we do accept any of the ways that we have worked on so far that works best for them. This is just another way that we have to show them in case this way works better. Okay, now we are going to need, and this is where that you're going to need your second color. If you chose yellow, you need yellow, and if your second color ended up being green, then that's what you will use for this. 
Um, on number one, we're going to think through this just like we did at the top. So we have 12 minus 8. What is our smaller number? And I hope you said 8. So you see that we have filled our 10 frame with our 8 red. Now we are going to need to get to 12, okay? I'm going to take out one step and we're just going to start counting with our yellow dots until we get to 12, okay? So you're going, let me make my pen yellow with you all so it looks the same. And we have eight, so we're going to count on with yellow until we get to our biggest number, 12, okay? So we have eight, nine, 10, 11, sorry about that, 11, 12, okay? Now, the question for you, how many yellow did I have to add? And you are correct. I added four yellow. So 12 minus eight is four. <clears throat> I added four yellow, not 12. I hope I didn't say that, I'm sorry. There were, there were four yellow and so 12 minus eight is four. Okay, now then, <clears throat> all right, let's go to number two. All right, I want you to pause me and I want to see if you can fill in the problem and then I will come behind you and fill in the answer. All right, now then. Okay, so now I'm going to get my uh, pen back to being yellow. I will walk through this. Um, the smaller number is nine and we put nine red on the uh, 10 frame. And now our does, we want to see how many more we need to get to get to 11. All right, so we want to count 9, 10, 11. How many more did I have to draw? Two. And I will just write my two with my yellow. Very good. Now, for today, this ends um, this part of the math lesson. What we will do for tomorrow is I would like for you to complete um, the numbers three, four, five, and six on page 167 before you come to the video, okay? I would like for you to, it's, it's on the next page, on page 167, you just flip up and over, and you will complete three, four, five, and six, and then you will come back to um, the math lesson tomorrow with this page completed, I will work through each one to make sure that you got the correct answer, okay? So <clears throat> again, this is, you'll need the same materials tomorrow that you have today, so if you will bring those back with you. All right, thank you for working hard, and see you soon.